I'm back with another fun activity to do at home with kids while we're all still trying to be home as much as possible. So I know we've already talked about the structure of DNA a couple of times on this channel, but today we're going to get hands on with it. So I'm going to walk you through how to build that famous double helix structure in just a couple of minutes with some candy and tell you a little bit more about the structure itself. So grab your friends, family, your quarantine gang, and let's get started. Okay, so for starters, here's a list of things that you'll need in order to build this model at home. Licorice ropes, some sort of drum, some sort of gumdrop candy, and some toothpicks. That's it, that's all you need, just those three things. Okay, so first, DNA is double-stranded, so we need to lay down our two licorice ropes. These will serve as the backbone of the DNA, which is made of sugar and a chemical group called phosphate. And then next, we will need our gumdrop candies, which will serve as our nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are one of the chemicals that make up our DNA and are responsible for our genetic code. So the order they appear in will actually determine what eye color you have, how tall you are, and several other physical traits. Scientists will usually refer to these nucleic acids as either A for adenine, T for thymine, C for cytosine, or G for guanine. And together, these make up the genetic code and hold the backbone of the DNA together. And it's important to know that A always bonds with T and C always bonds with G. So for the candy model that I'll be building, A will be orange, T will be yellow, C will be pink, and G will be green. And we'll use some toothpicks in order to hold everything together and also show the bonds between all of them. So first, I will use an A and on the other side, a T, and the toothpick will hold them together. Next, I'll use a C, so that means I need a G on the other side. And I'll just keep going and making the correct pairs until I get to the end of the licorice rope. Okay, so now we have a complete section of DNA, but there is still one more thing we need to do. So DNA is double-stranded, which is what we have so far, but it's also a helix. So in order to give our candy model that helix shape, all we have to do is give it a little twist. And ta-da, we have a complete model of DNA that we can eat. And that's today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this fun, quick, and edible at-home science activity. Make sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video or any of the other ones. And feel free to leave a comment with a picture of your DNA candy model or a question about biology that you have. See y'all next time.